I have decided many, many cases where I have declared rights for men. One case that stands out is a father who wanted to throw out his five sons from uh, his chamber because he said they are grown men, they ought to have their own uh, places. And I refused, I, I dismissed the, the, the case. Uh, so I am a judge who looks at both men, women, children, the society at lunch, and Kenyans who feel very, very safe if I am privileged to be confirmed, uh, my appointment to be approved by this august house, I can state uh, publicly that I follow the dictates of the constitution, of the statute. I can never operate outside uh, the constitution. I do not hate men. As a matter of fact, I've been married for the last 35 years. I got married when I was uh, very young. I went to the University of Nairobi when I was already married, so I know how difficult it is to balance a family and balance education. But I'm so proud that I graduated with a daughter. I graduated with a husband who has remained uh, my dear partner and compatriot all these years. So I support families. All my life, I have worked for families because I know the family is the background of the society. And if we protect the family, then we have protected the whole society because those people leaving the family will be empowered to go out there and heck a living when there is no violence in the family, when there is only encouragement and love in the family. I, if I'm approved, I hope to use this power of convening as the Chief Justice to speak to the families that we need to bring up our children, we need to protect our children, we need to empower point our of order, Point of order, Chair. Um, I, I didn't wish to interrupt the uh, Lady Justice, but uh, you know this is a, a public uh, forum, and is it in order that members uh, twice foot thump a member that they are actually interviewing? This is a public, a public interview. So I think I wanted to ask whether that is in order. I, I says, uh, if she's giving the correct answers, what do we do? It, well, it has not. Uh, we, Oroch, we have Oroch. I've also had uh, <laughs> applauded you when you asked your question. So don't worry about this. It's a small <laughs> affair. So. Thank you very much, uh, yeah. uh, Judge. Are you through? Yes, I was. Okay. Uh, thank, you. Yeah. thank you very much. Uh, about jurisprudence, and she's going to be on the bench for 10 or more yes. years. Yes, yes. Are, are we going to be May stuck comment on with that your... Later. Yes. May I comment on that later? Yes, uh, sorry, I didn't uh, comment about uh, jurisprudence. Jurisprudence grows every day depending on the facts that are and the evidence that is uh, brought to court. Uh, this is a very, very progressive constitution uh, that embraces also international law and international human rights. So the fact that I made a decision yesterday this way cannot worry anybody because we are always persuaded by the case as it comes. And the Supreme Court, if I'm privileged to be uh, approved, where I sit, we are not even bound by our own decisions. The Supreme Court is supposed to always look at the law as if it is growing every day. Uh, the circumstances and the exigencies of the matter all the time. Uh, therefore, my jurisprudence, which is progressive, should not worry anybody because it will continue to grow. Well, Chair, I had reserved a question. Think, uh, if think, members are through with I their line I'll, of questioning, I'll, let us not uh, keep uh, asking questions. Moshimu uh, Akamote in piecemeal. Let's hear the last uh, comment on the reserved question by. Chair, can I have mine? Yeah. Can I have mine? Fine. I will allow you or, or let me start <coughs> with. Let me start with the watch. 
then come to Aluoch, then go to Kamoto. Did you say you start with Aluoch, then Aluoch, or vice versa? <laughs> no, you are, you are neighboring. <laughs> I am starting with uh, Aluoch, no. Okay. Or, no, wait. <laughs> Just wait, because your mic is on. That is why. Okay, thank you, thank you, Chair. That's why. And then go to Oruoch, and then go to Mwashimwa Kamote. Uh, thank you, Chair. Um, Chair, um, in Parliament, many times the judiciary become, comes under attack. Some members sometimes criticize judgments, criticize judges individually, personally. And, and some of us know that that's not proper. We try to defend the judiciary many times, so that if they need to be criticized, we do so in the proper manner provided for by law. Sometimes there are utterances that come from the judiciary about their frustrations. We hear those. Where I sit when, when I hear members of parliament criticize the judiciary irregularly, or the judiciary busting, also irregularly, then in my mind I see that there is lack of proper nexus on how the judiciary can make use of this committee to air their frustrations. And, and it's, it's something that I think Justice Kome will deal with, being like me, experienced in mediation and arbitration. But it's something that needs to be looked at by the judiciary, how you can use this committee to air your views and get what you want. Now, Chair, second, that aside, national ethos that are enshrined in the Constitution 2010, and which I think Justice Martha Coleman did not be reminded about, uh, is cohesion, national integration, and regional balance. These are in the Constitution. Justice Coleman, does it bother your conscience that if you are recommended by this committee and approved by parliament and appointed, then all the three organs of government in our great republic will end up being led by persons coming from one region commonly known as the mountain. Does it bother you? Thank you again, Chair, and thank you, uh, Lady Justice, for your first question. I had separated my two questions, and I did so advisedly so that I would give you the opportunity to deal with them with some considerable detail. And the reason is that um, other than what Honorable uh, Member for Ruaraka has mentioned, that the nation is listening and they want to hear, um, the, the legal scholars are also following this with considerable interest to see how they can find comfort that a person who will expand jurisdiction and their practice is going to occupy this position if they do. And um, so I wanted to make this follow-up question again. And I had a preamble to this, which uh, you have said about your um, involvement in the civil society. And then, of course, you've been a judge for a number of years now. Uh, that makes you an insider outsider. When people are being interviewed, there was the argument about are they looking for an insider or an outsider. So allow me to call you in this respect insider outsider. So in this insider outsider outfit, uh, would you call yourself one leaning towards judicial restraint or judicial activism? Um, and uh, then my other question, it very brief, um, I just wanted to refer again to an excerpt by Dr. Willy Mutunga, former CJ, in an article he wrote, the 2010 Constitution. Sorry, point of order, Chair. On these interview questions. Just allow me, please. Okay. All right. and, uh, With all respect. Just, uh, yeah. We, yeah. Okay. We are all comments or... Yeah. But they see they're not comments, they're questions to the... Either jurisprudential way. questions to the nominee. Either way, let's, uh, let's allow him. Um, with, with the utmost respect, I looked at the short guide that was given to us at number 17 and 23, speak to the question, what is her judicial uh, philosophy, uh, <coughs> jurisprudence, inclination? Don't worry. And I think I'm just, perfectly within. Just, and uh, just allow me to make your comment. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Um, and so, Chair, uh, Dr. Willy Mutunga in that article, the 2010 Constitution of Kenya and its interpretations, reflections from the Supreme Court decisions, he said,